Hi, so we're going to discuss how to get started on StatLab. So, what you are going to do is if you go up to your um, search bar and you type mystatlab.com, it will automatically take you to this website. Now, because you want to register, you're going to go to register now and you're going to go to register as a student. Alright, so here's the three things you're going to need to get started. You're going to need your email address. I suggest that you use your Olympic um, email address. Okay, you're going to need your instructor's course ID. You're going to find this on the syllabus. It should be highlighted in yellow. Okay. After that, you need an access code, credit card, or PayPal. So you can purchase an access code through the bookstore or you can purchase it directly through the Pearson My Stat Lab using a credit card or PayPal. Okay, um, please do not buy a access code outside of the bookstore or directly through this website as it may not work. Um, you could be purchasing somebody else's um, access code that they used before and it won't be under your name or it won't work and it might be a scam. So after that you're going to go to OK Register Now. After that, you're just going to go ahead and follow these prompts. If you have any issues, just let me know. All right, now that you're registered, you're ready to sign in. So once you sign in, you're going to see our course listed. This is an old course, of course, but it'll uh, still work for us. So once you click on your course, once you click on your course, this is um, what you are going to see. So first off, on the calendar, what's going to happen is that when an assignment is due, you're going to see it on your calendar and it's going to come up as a blue dot. As well, you'll see announcements, past due assignments, current assignments, and completed assignments. The other thing I'd like to um, bring to your attention is over here on the left-hand side. Okay, a couple of other things that you can do is you can go to the e-text contents. Okay, what that's going to do is it's going to allow you to access the textbook. The other thing I'd like to bring to your attention on this left hand side is StatCrunch. So what StatCrunch is, is it's going to be a kind of calculator that we're going to be using. Okay, we're going to be using it a lot. So click on StatCrunch and from here what you're going to do is you're going to go StatCrunch website After that, you're going to go open StatCrunch. And from here, you'll notice that it automatically logged me in using my um, MyStatLab login information. So your StatCrunch and your MyStatLab login information is going to be the same. Now what this is, is it kind of works like an Excel file. It's going to allow us to do a lot of work really quickly that we typically wouldn't want to do by hand. So just to give you an example, Let's say that we have a bunch of numbers. Let's say we have five, six, four, seven, eight. Okay. Now, what we can do is that we can do a lot of um, descriptive statistics very quickly with this. So, for example, if I go stat, summary stats, columns, okay, I can pick that column, var1, and hit compute, and it will automatically give me all this awesome information. So it'll tell me the mean of my data is 6. That means if I add all of these numbers together and divide by how many numbers I have, it's going to be 6. And then the rest of this information we're actually going to learn throughout the term. All right, now I don't want you guys to be intimidated by this. When it comes to stat crunch, it can seem very overwhelming. And actually, a lot of this stuff we're not even going to use. However, at the end of a lot of chapters, there's going to be um, tutorials walking you through how to use this software.